What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Faith No More. Yes, indeed. Faith No More fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Nicola McElhinney. And Nicola wanted to see me react to this song by Faith No More called... Man, these names... It's called, God, I don't even want to say it. It's, it's called Jizz Lobber. Dear Lord. Ah, his name's unacceptable. All right, have I heard the song before? You know, I would think that I've heard a name of a, if I heard a song entitled that, I would think I would remember it. Uh, so I, I very seriously doubt that I have heard this song before. However, having said that, there is always a possibility I may have heard this song in passing and I just don't realize it. So it's always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, oh my God, I have heard this before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Faith No More, okay? And the video has 261,680 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> there it is right there. I, I just don't want to say it. I just don't want to say it. I, I, I'm sorry. I just I don't. I don't want to say it. Uh, you see it right there. You, you, you know we're in the right spot, right? I hope we're in the right spot. Look, this is the link I was given, so there it is. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Ah, yes, the Swamplands. Nice little feel switch up there. And then it's going right back into the main riff again. Um, man, that, that tritone. Bah, eh, 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 eh. It's just, it's piercing. Oh, man. I, I don't know they're doing that on purpose. They're doing that for effect. I get it. It's just the effect's being achieved. And it's being achieved well. And it, ooh, man. Ah. 
Uh, the guitar and the bass, super heavy in this. I'm, I'm digging it. Boom. We're in D. Boom. Yeah, we're in D. Um, whew, man, the chordal transitioning is nice. So that, the chordal flow is really nice. I, I'm almost... It's almost like... What's that band? This is a band I'm thinking of that has very similar chordal structures. I'm trying to remember who the band is. Biohazard. That's the band. Um, very similar to that style. Uh, blah, 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 da, da, and then seven one. It, it's doof. It just oh, it makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up just a little bit. Like ah. It's good though. It's a good feeling. I'm not knocking it. it, it it's a good feeling. Um, I like that feeling personally. Um, almost like a feeling of like impending doom. Almost. Really cool. It's a really cool feeling. Um, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, that, that pickup is nice. Really nice. Um I like that I like that second transition where the they are doing the 60 note pattern is ja, 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 and then you hear the guitar player go on to this melodic line. Do 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 you know it's nice. It's really nice. It, it, it's for me. That's the hook. That's the hook right there. I that is the part of have everything. If I don't remember anything else from this song, I'm gonna remember that riff. I'm absolutely gonna remember that riff. That riff is hitting me for some reason. I I, I think it's just I think it's just because it's so rhythmic. It's just so it's so tight. It, it's just so straight ahead. That sixteenth note, ja, 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 and then the melodic line, ja, 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 doodle, doodle, ja, 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 ja. It's nice. I, I I dig it. I absolutely dig it. Um, let's keep going here. Let's see how this goes. William. It's a three against the four feel, but the four is dominant here instead of the three. Weird. 
really weird. Usually when you do the three against the four, the three is more is more dominant than the four is, but in this case, they flipped it. And it's being driven mostly by the drums doing the four. So weird. I mean, it works. Don't get me wrong. It, it's it's working. It's just it's unusual, really unusual. But it is working, and it sounds good. It definitely sounds good. Um, uh, let's let's keep going. See the three feels in the guitar. Hearing Oregon. Uh, so they're going to use this outro as an extended lead in into the next song, probably. I've seen I've seen bands do this before. I've never really been a big fan of this. Um, I'm really hoping this is not the case, but I have a feeling it is. Um, shoot. They were, uh, man, they had such a great song, too. I hope they don't ruin it with this. So it's not an intro to the next song. That was the actual ending of the song. Why? 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 Completely unnecessary. They could have left the song though the way it was, had it fade out if they wanted to, or found a different ending. Why the organ outro? I don't understand. It doesn't, from a musical standpoint, it serves no purpose whatsoever. Now, maybe within the context of the song, the lyrics, the story being told behind the song, maybe there's some context there. Maybe that would explain it. But from a strictly musical standpoint, there was no need for that. None. It was pretty, but it just didn't fit the scheme of the song. Ah, uh, yeah, that really put a sour taste in my mouth. Ah, uh, 
let me think about this. I'm gonna really need to think about this. I'll see you in the review. We'll we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Faith No More with uh, say this. I guess I gotta say it with a song called uh, Jizz Lobber. There it is. Fine. I, I said it. Uh, this was a request from Nicola McElhenney. I hope I pronounced that name right. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.9. Yep, 7.9. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. The first five and a half minutes of this song. I absolutely loved. I loved everything about it. Uh, the chordal structure, the chordal flow sounded really good. Kind of had that feeling and sense of impending doom, which I, I absolutely loved. I thought that was fantastic. Uh, kind of reminiscent a little bit, the way that they were having their, their chordal flow laid out and the chordal structure laid out. Kind of reminiscent of something from like Biohazard from like, you know, the mid 90s. Um, really cool to listen to. R really cool to listen to. I dug it. Um, vocally, Mike Patton sounded really solid. I, I got no issue with anything he did there. Not the most creative I've heard him, not the most uh, complex I've heard, but what he did fit the song like a glove. So I, I have no complaints about that. Guitar in this is what really did it more for me more than anything. I mean, don't get me wrong, the drumming was solid. Drumming was great. Um, the bass playing, I could actually hear the bass a little bit in certain parts. Sounded really good. I like the tone he was getting. Um, that, that tritone over the top, nerve wracking, but but it served the purpose it was trying to do. It was trying to get you on edge. It was trying to make you uncomfortable. Mission accomplished, that that keyboard tritone man. Yeah, it sounded good. It worked, it absolutely worked. Uh, but the guitar is really what did this for me more than anything. Um, great tone, great riffs, especially that second riff that I heard, The you know, the 16th note into the Yeah, that was so clean. I absolutely dug that. That If I don't remember anything else from this song, I'm going to remember that more than anything else. Even the tritone. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to remember the tritone too, but I'm going to remember that riff more than anything else. That was fun. That was a great, that was a great experience. But like I said, first five and a half minutes, loved it. I thought the first five and a half minutes were great. I would honestly give the first five and a half minutes like about an 8.1, 8.2, somewhere in there, if I'm being honest. Then came the ending. What was the purpose of that organ ending? I can't think of one. I honestly can't think of a single reason why that was there. It did not fit the context musically of the song in any way, shape, or form. It made absolutely no sense. Now, there is a possibility. I'm not a lyrics guy. I don't catch lyrics. I just don't. They go right over my head. It's not that I don't care. It's just I can't grab them. I, I've never been able to. Only on very rare occasions have I ever been able to grab lyrics, but even then, I don't interpret lyrics well. So lyrics are not my thing. Music is my thing. Now, there may be something in the lyrics that sheds some light on the purpose behind that organ ending. Now, what that is, I don't know. I have no clue. Maybe in the comments, if someone knows for sure, if there is something in the lyrics that would explain that, that, that organ ending, please tell me. Let me know. Will it change my score? No. Will it change my opinion of the ending? It could, but that's not going to change my score. My score is what it is. It's set in stone. Uh, but it might it might change my opinion of the overall opinion of the song. But as it stands right now, that 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 organ ending just made no sense. It was completely useless. It was a complete utter waste of time. That's a minute of the entire song that was used that was not necessary and in my opinion was dead air. So that's unfortunately the reason why the score came down from like an 8.1 to a 7.9. It, it was just nonsensical waste of time. And it, it, and I don't know about you guys, but I don't like having my time wasted. So I, I did bring the score down slightly because of it. Um, but it's still an enjoyable song. I love the song just in the future when I, and I will listen to the song again. 
in the future when I do listen to the song, when I start to hear the organ play, I'm just gonna stop it. I'm not gonna listen to the last part. Unless, like I said in the comments, there is something happening lyrically that calls for that ending. If that's the case, then I'll listen to it. But as it stands right now, I can't think of a single reason why it's there, so. Anyway, 7.9 is where we're at. 7.9 is where we're gonna stay. So, 7.9, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's good enough for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.